A state lawmaker's comments about sexual orientation are being described as inappropriate and inaccurate. Republican Representative Paul Stam handed out a list on the House floor yesterday that included everything from incest to pedophilia. News 13's Megan Shearing joins us. Megan, his debate sparked outrage among his colleagues. It did, Darcel. It even caused a stir on social media. His remarks were in response to an amendment to a charter school's bill introduced by local representative Susan Fisher. This is the handout in question, titled, What is a Sexual Orientation? It lists things such as pedophilia, bestiality, and incest. It was distributed to lawmakers yesterday by Representative and Speaker Pro Temp Paul Stamp. Well, it was fairly disturbing, and I, and I, you know, he, he stood up on the floor and he began his remarks while the sergeant at arms were passing out these sheets on each of the members' desks. So it was, it was evidently a very quickly put together um, effort to stop the amendment. Stam was debating an amendment to Senate Bill 793 that would prohibit discrimination in hiring and admissions at charter schools on the grounds of sexual orientation and gender identity. Mountain Representative Susan Fisher brought the amendment to the table. After he made his opening remarks, he asked if I would uh, stand for a question, uh, and I... I um, decided not to because after I saw this sheet, I, I really did not want to go into that with him. She says she and several other lawmakers, including Representative Trisha Cotham, were very disappointed with his actions. To use um, really severe issues to say that that's how sexual orientation is defined is, is really offensive. The handout was published more than a decade ago by the American Psychiatric Association. But at the time, the APA didn't list them as sexual orientations, but instead classified them as disorders. Since then, the um, American uh, Psychiatric Association has made significant changes to the discussion of sexual orientation and sexual disorders. Representative Stam is defending himself by stating that if someone wants to use the term sexual orientation in a bill, then explain what it means. Now, Equality North Carolina, a statewide LGBT advocacy group, is speaking out on the issue. They say they are appreciative of Representative Fisher's efforts to protect, protect excuse me, vulnerable gay and transgender students in North Carolina. Now, the amendment was tabled, and it's unclear if it will be taken up again.